Crafters, thank you for joining me today. It's Melissa from Melissa's Creations, and we are going to make this really fun coffee card. It says, hello fall, it's pumpkin spice latte season. And yes, yes it is. I enjoy my pumpkin spice just as much as the next person. So we're gonna go ahead and make a variation of this card today. So the papers that we will need are a piece of designer series paper. This measures three inches by one and a quarter inches. Another piece that is just a scrap, but this one is about five and a half by three and a half. And it can be a little bit smaller. We're just going to use it to cut out a few pieces. I have a piece of early espresso cardstock. This is a scrap as well. It's about three by three. And I have a piece of crumb cake cardstock that measures a four and a half by two and a half. And here is a scrap of a very vanilla cardstock. It's a little bigger than a standard card front, five and a half by four and a quarter. And again, we just need a few pieces. And finally, I have my card base that measures 11 by four and a quarter, and I've scored it in the middle at five and a half. I'm starting with the stamping and I'm going to use my very vanilla scrap and my early espresso scrap. I have my stamps already mounted. So out of my early espresso, I'm going to stamp a lid and I am also going to stamp the coffee beans. And from my very vanilla, I'm going to stamp the outline for my coffee cup as well as my sentiment. I'm using early espresso ink and I want to get two beans. And one lid. From the very vanilla piece, I'm going to stamp in early espresso my coffee cup. and my sentiment. I'm using an old style one and three eighths inch circle punch to punch out our sentiment. And we're going to use the Big Shot to cut out our remaining pieces. So I have my magnetic platform here, as well as a cutting plate. I'm going to put my images on here. And I am using the framelits from the Coffee Cups Framelits dies. You can bundle this with the stamp set Coffee Cafe, and you will save 10% bundling your products. I'm also using the Mary Cafe stamp set, and that's what I'm using this stamp, your coffee cup here, as well as our sentiment. This sleeve is ribbed right here, so you can see it'll have some nice texture once we get it cut out. All right, we're ready to start assembling our card. So I'm gonna get my snail adhesive and dimensionals and my mini glue dots. And I'm gonna start putting this together. I'm going to cut the banner edges on my designer series paper and my crumb cake. And to do that, I'm just snipping up the middle and snipping from corner to the top of that middle cut. I'm going to fold my card base in half and use the bone folder to get a nice crease. On this piece, I did stamp a few of the accents from both stamp sets on the background, but I'm going to leave this background solid vanilla. 
The first thing I want to do is lay down my crumb cake banner. So I'm going to take some snail on the back of that. And I'm going to offset it just a little to the left. Next, I'm going to take my smaller designer series paper banner and I'm going to put some snail on that and I'm going to angle it right down here so that I can just see I'm lining up the middle cut with the edge of the crumb cake and I want to be able to see both points coming down right here next I'm going to take my coffee cup with some dimensionals And I'm going to put that right over here and kind of angle it. I'm going to use some glue dots on the back of my coffee lid and I'm going to put them right down on the bottom. So they're down near the bottom edge of the lid because I'm going to put that right on top of my cup. Then I'm going to use some snail to adhere my coffee sleeve. I'm going to pop my sentiment up with a dimensional on top of my designer series paper label. And then I'm going to put some more dimensionals on the back of that. And I'm going to put that right over the top of my designer series paper label. And now I'm going to take my beans and I'm using glue dots to adhere that to my card. And we're going to put one of those up here and the other will go next to the coffee cup down at the bottom. And there are our beautiful coffee cards. Let me know which one you like better with the background or without. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos, and leave me a comment to let me know which one you like, background or no background. You can visit me on the web at melissascreations.com and follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations. Thanks so much, guys. Stay caffeinated. Bye.